Pastor Mike Park, you have uh, you have emphasized just the extraordinary potential gift that a, the right kind of student leadership can bring to a youth group, and most youth workers know that. Uh, the group has an entirely different potential when it is led by its own young people. How do you how do you discern the young people who have the charism or the gifts for that leadership, and how do you bring them forward and form them to be able to bring that gift effectively? Yeah, I, I think one of the ways that we do it is we give them opportunities to take on um, short tasks where they can learn what leadership is. See, what, what happens a lot of times is that we have a student leadership team and, and there's an application process or there's a recruitment process and you're, and you're given this title of student leader and you're thrown into it. And, and we're going to decide whether you did a good job or a bad job at the end of the year. Um, and so there's just nine months, let's say, of time where you're like, okay, am I doing a good job at this? Am I doing it the right way? And you, you, there's a whole lot of, of doubt or questioning. So instead, I think, you know, what, what's helpful is to say, here's some opportunities for you to serve in this capacity. And let's talk about what you, what you enjoyed about it. Let's talk about what you learned. Let's talk about the way that God was speaking to you through this. And, and I think the debrief process and the evaluation process is so important. Again, we talked about discipleship, how leadership really needs to be a part of our discipleship. Um, you know, I, I really think that discipleship happens best in the context of relationship. And I think leadership is the same way. Student leaders should feel like someone is with them walking them through the questions of what it means to be a leader. Um, Scott Cormode at, at Fuller Seminary, he talks a lot about, um, we learn leadership in the parking lot, just like we learn how to drive in the parking lot, right? You do that before you put someone out on the highway. And I think that's true for, for students as well, is it, let's give them safe places to explore what leadership looks like before we throw them out and say, you know, sink or swim. Like you're either gonna be great at this, or you're gonna fail at this. I think that's unfair. So let's give them small ways to be able to exercise and learn and go around the parking lot a couple times so they can figure out what leadership is.